John Respondi of MaxBoxing.com and Seconds Out. I'm here with perennial contender Kareem Mayfield, who really wants to fight Floyd Mayweather. He's known Mayweather quite a long time, and he feels he deserves it. Kareem, I want you to tell me why you think you deserve a shot at the money man. Well, I think I deserve a shot because, <laughs> um, due to the fact, you know, um, I'm a ferocious fighter, man. I'm, um, I bring a lot to the table, you know. Um, First of all, anyone that fights Floyd, that attempts to box with him, we see what the outcome is going to be. I mean, he went to pound for pound, one of the pound for pound best, and Pacquiao attempted to box him, and you know, it's just uh, didn't come out the way that he, everyone expected. But nevertheless, you know, I certainly bring fire to the to the fight, certainly bring explosive fight to the fight, and you know, I'm going back to the reason why I felt I deserve it is because, uh, hey man, they've been ducking me for a long time, man. You know, not to be throwing out names, but you Google it, you see these guys been ducking me. The guys that's the, a lot of top four or five people that's names has actually been saying things and calling calling out uh, Floyd. Y'all know y'all been ducking me, man. One day notice, Mayfield, you wanna take the fight? Let's do it. Fly me out there. Oh Mayfield, they don't wanna fight you. How many times has this happened? Several times. So um, you know, like I said, man, um, I think I'm deserving of the fight. And uh, ready to go. You're 19 and two with 11 knockouts. You got into boxing late, but you, you know, you, you're. I think people forget that you're one of the people that beat Mauricio Herrera, who the, of course, the lineal champion. That is correct. So that's why I brought that up. He just won another title a few days ago in Los Angeles. Uh, so you think that your style would give Floyd a lot of? Because Floyd is a boxer, and you're you got that big right hand. You think your aggressiveness would give Floyd some problems? Yeah, I think um, it'll give him problems, but most of all, I feel it'll give the fans what they want to see. You know, everyone feels uh, they want to give Floyd to give him his first loss and all that. I know, of course, I, I'm going in the win, certainly, but for the most part, I want to please the fans. I mean, you know, Berto, great fighter, outstanding fighter, man. But, um, you know, I see him coming to box, you know what I mean? I'm not looking to come to box. I'm looking for an explosive fight. Taking more chances, I should say, so to speak, you know? Not just saying I'm gonna go in, who's rush in? But, um, you know, I certainly won't be there playing uh, chess, you know what I mean? More so like checkers game for the most part. But, like I said um, before, man, it's, um, I certainly bring uh, an explosive fight to the table and look to take away more chances than Manny or any of his other opponents that take him. Yeah, let's talk about Amir Khan, because he, he seems to be possibly the, the front runner for this. Now, you mentioned a few weeks ago that you had some pretty good sparring sessions with uh, Amir, and they had to actually stop him because you were doing pretty well. Can you tell me a little bit about what happened in those sparring sessions? Yeah, you know, um, I'm not the guy that like normally speaks on what happens in the gym, you know, because yeah. it's said boxing is a, is a, you know, um, a, a, it's a close-knit, you know, mm -hmm. um, organization, a close-knit type of um, sport, so mm -hmm. to speak. And, but, you know, he had kind of spoke down on my name, like saying I wasn't of that level, and some, speaking on me and Berto. So, you know, I had to, he spoke on me, so he, he drew first blood, so I had to speak up. So going back to your question, man, yeah, I put them hands on him, you know. Uh, Virgil, you know, pulled me off him a couple of times and sparring. Not saying I was just beating him up, but um, I was doing certainly well, and uh, I know boxing's uh, it's, it's a mental game. So, you know, maybe he wasn't mentally in there at that time, or maybe the second time, or the third time, he wasn't mentally there. So, uh, you know, Burst is a mental type guy and he knows that, you know, it's not about all phys physicality and maybe he just didn't want to make feel to, you know, um, mess him up intellectually, not intellectually, excuse me. Um, confidence. Also, it's confidence wise. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I know. I've seen some of your sessions and they were pretty pretty tough. You guys really get at it sometimes yes. and it is. You're very, very, you're right. It's close Indeed. enough. Yeah. So, I mean, do you, speaking of con for a minute, do you think that, I mean, his style wouldn't be very exciting? you thinking that he would just be moving around and running around against Floyd and Floyd would be just trying to control it? So, you know, would it not be a very good fight, right? Well, yeah, That's what it, you're makes, saying. it makes for a boring fight, to be honest, you know, um, just uh, because Khan is not going to be taking no chances like that, you know. You've seen what our Jerry did with him, you know, and, um, you know, and I mean, he tried to blame it on Virgil, but man, he looked, he looked to be in good shape to me, to be honest. And, um, I thought Virgil helped him pull out the last hand of the fight, to be honest, you know, but um, yeah, man, um, these guys ain't taking chances, you know, so more so, I feel that kind of be, it'd be 
back like a, a fencing game. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nobody wanna see that. You wanna see Floyd in with a, a good fight. They wanna see him in with a bang, you know what I mean? For the most part. And uh, that's what Mayfield brings to the table. Yeah, exactly. Now Andre Berto is another good fighter and he's a friend of yours and he's also in the running. Right. He would bring it probably against Floyd too, right? right? I mean he would be like you trying to land the big bomb and everything. But you think your right hand is the the one that could really be the, the, the game changer against Floyd. Yeah, you know, as far as Berto, Berto is definitely um, he has a lot of tenacity, he's an explosive fighter. But then again it goes back to, you know, maybe that amateur style. Um, not saying he's an amateur style fighter, but with them having I'm from the streets, I'm a street fighter. So, you know, in the streets you're not you're not duking it out, you're coming out the gate, you know what I mean? So my mentality has been that, you know, not going back speaking on my, 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 my two losses. But if you go back to that fight, you see I wasn't that same street fighter. I was not that pit bull. I was bouncing around dancing. I'm, that's not me, and that's what happened. Nevertheless, man, um, you know, uh, Berto, I see him in a good fight, but he's certainly not a good fight as Mayfield, you know, um, like I said, anyone that actually tries to, you know, go with the conventional way of fighting for it, you know, we know what time it is, and, you know, it's not a good look. So, back to Manny for a second, a guy that you sparred with and had some success, Manny Pacquiao I'm yes. speaking with a few years ago. You saw the fight. Do you think Manny blew it? Did he, was he not aggressive enough? Because he looked like he was trying to box, and I don't know what the truth is about his shoulder. I'll leave that up to the so-called experts. But right. he didn't. Okay, I'll say this: he didn't look like he had a bad shoulder to me. He didn't. Man. He didn't. And, did and, he? To be honest, anytime you're throwing, you know, them left hands, hard left hands, if your shoulder messed up and you throw a hard left hand, you miss. You, you're like you're going down in pain. That's it. Does not feel good, you know. So you know, I don't know what the man was feeling at the time. If he was able to endure that pain, but. Um, yeah, I think he didn't take enough chances, you know what I mean? And, and people were like, well, why he wasn't he, why wasn't he angling and all that? But you do have to consider that Floyd is one of the greatest that's, that's, that's been in the sport ever, you know? So you have to, you can't just say what Manny wasn't doing, it's what Floyd was doing. I think it's a right hand, that lead right hand. He was very concerned right, about that right hand because he can sting you with that right hand. Certainly. So just wrapping it up here, your aggressive style. So if you were to fight Floyd, who's 48-0, what would you do to give him that big, that give him that number one loss? What would you have to do to do that? I would have to, um, I have to come in there with two hammers, man. <laughs> I, <really. laughs> I have to come in there with two hammers, man, and um, do what I need to do, man. And um, you know, I would, um, I don't see myself, you know, um, attempting to boxing too much. You know, I don't see myself attempting to be aggressive because I do know that Floyd does have a. He, uh, he's very good at, at adjusting to certain things, a la Madonna, a la yeah. Castillo, you know. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, I, to be honest, I think that my style is so um, organic. I'm back going back to my organic style, which had got me to 18-0, which had got me that NABO title, which made me, you know what I mean? Beat Mauricio yeah. Herrera with that style. Mauricio yeah. Herrera, yeah. you know? Yep. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, but uh, anyhow, um, which had me to stop you know, Steve Forbes, you know, yes. by the way, De La Hoya, Berto, they went the distance with him, Mayfield mm -hmm. stopped him. Yeah. But uh, nevertheless, man, um, I think me being organic and just um, sort of letting things unfold and um, actually not coming in there with a game plan like that and, did, you know, just being in tremendous condition, you know, I just feel that um, things would happen um, um, the way that I would let it um, unfold, I'd say. So you basically would have to just be yourself Indeed. and then get physical with them and yes. then see what happens, Indeed. pretty much. Okay, this is John responding with Max Boxing with Kareem Mayfield who wants that fight. You know, a lot of people deserves it. I think he deserves it. He's been around a long time. You paid your dues, right Kareem? Indeed, indeed. All right, well, good luck to you and thanks a lot.